How many of you know what a murder hornet is? <laughs> I think they're, those are murder hornets. If you walk up really slow like this, you won't get attacked. But the second you freak out and make one fast, false move, that whole thing will light you up like the 4th of July on your neck. We're not trying to do that today. Ooh, I can smell my hair. I've got my little three foot, quarter inch mesh net, cast net. Oh, fish don't live out of water. Phone check, homie. Gotta get some water. Okay, so we have water, cast net. It looks like we're playing. Skip to the loo, my darling. Let's just wrap this up real quick. This won't take but one cast, it's real easy. Just gonna take that, fold it up, flip it over that way, fold it up again. Real simple, quick, easy way to throw a tiny cast net. All you're doing is you're just basically spinning it like a Frisbee. There's minnows all over. I'm looking, there's a tree limb there. There's actually more minnows there, but I don't want to catch that tree. So, boom, that's all you gotta do like that. And we are on the way to have a good day. See them all on the side of there? More than we need, but I'll put the extra ones in the fish tank at home. Next time I come out, I'll just scoop them out. I don't know if you guys can see these. Jumbo, jumbo mollies. See that? Look how cool that is. Jumped in my hand. Look at this guy. Now how many of you know that something out there is gonna slurp that right up? All right, and these right here, for the record, that's called a mosquito minnow. You can actually put these in a jar around your yard and they will actually eat the mosquito larva. That's why they're great to have out here. So, let's get to it. Oh no. All right, now we're gonna take these and go catch some stuff. After these messages, we'll be right back. And if you wanna know what type of molly that is, I have no clue. But I know they work really good. Not easy. Oh, bye, leave the cameraman here. You can do it, put your back into it. Yeah, like old train playing when it hits you so We just grabbed some minnows. Now we're gonna go to this little spot. I'm gonna take some light tackle. We're gonna have fun, show you how a fast, quick, easy way to catch garfish on live bait. We're not out here, you know, doing laps and swimming through the pipes when the water's hot like this. I won't do that this time of year. In the winter time, of course I will, because I know I'm not gonna get bit. Maybe by a snake or a spider, but the gators aren't really active. You can stick, as soon as you stick your feet in the water, you can tell, you get to know like what temperature they're gonna be more active right now. Right now they would eat you, so we're not gonna go, we're not gonna be stupid about it. Might get close, but we're not gonna like try to pet them. If that makes sense. Let's go find them. All right, so what I'm bringing, because I'm using a tiny, tiny hook, I'm bringing just a little spinner from Walmart. Look at this thing. Okay, see how soft that tip is? Aww. Aww. You can get freaky with this thing. It's like a little whip. It's that old school drop top, won't let you down. So, see I have rain back in here and it flooded all the Everglades. So, like we were talking about earlier, this 
higher ground is now flooded. So what's going on is the water is seeping through the rocks into this low lying area. And all those fish can find that current and smell a bunch of minnows and everything there. And that's where they're gonna be. So I came up here and actually see the water flowing. Might even be like an old pipe under here. And there's a bunch of bait there because the bait, that's just what happens. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take minnows and we're gonna drop them in there and kind of put them out of their comfort zone. Like there's a school of minnows there. We're gonna make a, there be a stray minnow out on the side and see if we can catch these garfish. I don't see any garfish. There's like a hundred of them here the other day, but I think they gotta be there here somewhere. Well, no matter what, we're gonna catch something. Might catch a big Oscar. I don't even know where to catch. I'm trying to get a minnow and I forgot my dip net. So, right, the reason I left the weeds on top of there is that's kind of like a shield to keep the bait from jumping out. I'll hook him right under the tail there. Just like that. So he flutters. And I'm just gonna. Another thing is when it's this hot out and there's flowing water. Good chance there's a moxin in this area too, so you gotta really watch where you're stepping. Oh, right off the bat, it gets smoked by something. Look at that. Oh, yes, I don't know what it is. Yellow rocks. My encyclin. That's how you catch something. Look at the weird little mouth on them. Stick your tongue in that. No thank you. Trying to spot one, because I know they'll be in that current edge. There's some sticks there. Maybe there's something on the edge of that stick. Now what I'm doing is I'm just bringing the minnows down current, out of their comfort zone. Oh no. What was that? I got eaten right off the bat. Whoop. Nice big snapper. No, I'm just kidding. Nice big type of molly. Saw a big explosion back here. Right when I was talking to you, saw something move. Let's see if we can figure out what it is. Dude, look at that. I just dropped it down. Two seconds. And I missed it again. You kidding me? Oh man, something wrong with these hooks. Where did all these garfish go? Anytime you're coming into a new area, basically we're just scouting it out. And this is what you need to do. You need to figure out what's where, where it is when the water moves, where it is when it's dry. These fish are being really skittish. So I'm trying to use this as my, my cover to sneak up to them spotting them and basically they see a giant camera guy walking down the canal bank. That's the problem. But My fault. It's all your fault. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just letting it sink out there and seeing if she'll ambush it. I got some little bait stealers. I just hit it. Not what I wanted. Oh, it's a jaguar cichlid. Yes. Look at that. How many of you know what that is? Okay. That's why when you're fishing in your area, you never know. That is completely unexpected. I'd rather have this than a garfish. That is called a jaguar cichlid. Now, who wants me to take it home and eat it and see what it's like? I do. You do? All right, we just turned this into a catch, clean, and cook jaguar cichlid. Does anybody know if these are good? We honestly have no idea if they're good, but if you could feel this right now, it's like two big, perfect steaks. So we're gonna go home and eat it. And he's turning pink. So if you had one of these in your aquarium and let's say the power shut off, you only have to go to the grocery store. These are highly invasive. They came from the pet trade. Now they're going in the marinade. All right, I just got pricked. We're gonna go home, 
fry this thing up and we'll see you in the kitchen. Who thinks I should kiss it? I'm gonna kiss it because maybe he'll tell his friends and then... A little side pack. <laughs> A little bit of rice makes everything nice. What's up everybody, we're back. I'm gonna try to make this fast and simple as possible. Uh, today it was really, really hot, but we're back in the kitchen. This is what we caught. And we're gonna go ahead and bake it. We're gonna try something completely different. And depending on how it tastes, we might try this again and redo it because we didn't catch a whole bunch of them. But we're starving, now we're gonna dive into it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of lime, I'm gonna put it all over. I scored the fish, actually butterflied it, gutted it and it's sitting in there like this, like a big peacock. And now I'm going to season it up a little bit. We're gonna keep it real simple. Lauren, you like spicy? <laughs> Give taste to the islands. Ah. Want that citric acid to get down in those grooves and help kill any bacteria. I mean, it's the middle of summer. I know the water is hot. The last thing I wanna do is get sick right now, but the meat looked really good when I scored the sides and the fish is nice and thick. And we're gonna find out right now. I've honestly never eaten this fish. I don't know if they're delicious or not. I've seen birds eat them. The birds are still there, so we'll see what happens. What do you think? I think it'll be good. I hope. We're gonna find out. That's what it looks like. We'll see you in about 20 minutes. We'll find out. This is edible or not? Bye bye, little buddy. See how hot it is. Whoa. Hey there, little buddy. Wow. Where's that little spatula looking thing? Sorry, guys. Hmm. Nice of you to get all dressed up for the uh, lovely dinner. Whatever. Man. This thing, ow. Uh oh. The fire extinguisher right there. We got stuff going on here. All right, buddy, jump. Good job, you made it. I'm trying to keep him upright. Just because I thought it would look cool. But, just like in the wild, they're territorial. This thing's standing its ground. Doesn't want me to, well, that was hot. Stay still, let's see if I can make him jump. One, two, three, jump, whoa, hot. That doesn't look semi-twisted and perfect. I don't know what does. It's hot. Well, we just turned that Jaguar cichlid into a monkfish. Looks like a monkfish. All right, let's dig into it, see what it is. Um, I also want to thank Rusty Lee for leaving a comment in one of the last videos. Rusty Lee told us we need to try this rice right here. And this is the first time I've ever had it and we're experimenting with it, experimenting with it. And we tried it while it was cooking and it's awesome. So if this fish tastes completely nasty, at least we can eat the rice. Here you go. Here's my test, test bunny. That's got some, let's see what happens to her. Now there's actually a lot of meat in the head. This is not, we've caught, I caught a larger one the other day and we're gonna go back, if it tastes good, we're gonna go back and try to catch a large one because there's not a ton of meat on this. Um, let's see what happens here. How is it? Pretty good, it's a little tough, but it's good. Tough? It tastes good. The meat looks good inside. I think it looks better. Let me try it without the rice first. It's fishy. It's, it's a little fishy. It is a little. Did you eat it with the rice or without rice? I ate it without rice. Or no, I ate it with rice. Let me try it without rice. I mean, with, yeah, with rice, rice tastes really good. Oh, huh. I'm gonna try it again. It's got a gamey taste. I don't know if I just had a bad piece down there. I found a bone. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cut. I don't, it's not. It's. It's. Don't eat that. 
Thank you, Rusty Lee, for the rice. Rice tastes awesome. Fish. We're not doing this again. I'll tell you right now. I plan on doing a few fish videos and trying Powerful. this. There's a reason you don't see this on video. It's disgusting. You're eating my spit. I got spit all over there. All right, guys, I hope you liked this, enjoyed it. Uh, we're gonna go out and try something else tomorrow. Stay tuned for the next uh, upcoming video. Be sure to hit that like button, smash everything. We'll see you on the next adventure. I can't get that taste out of my teeth. I want to eat the rice. You know when you change the filter, when you change the filter on a fish tank, it tastes like, you ever had that water splash on you? I had to drink it out of the pond one time when I was <laughs> siphoning it. It tastes disgusting. That's, it tastes like siphoning the bottom of your fish tank. Don't reckon. Get that thing off the rice. Ugh. I don't think the bird would eat it. So much for that thing. You went from a bed of rice to the bottom of the garbage can. <laughs>